how are you? It's Ching. We're gonna go into the third part, how to improve your balance, right? You can just say my balance is not good and do nothing or do something really confused because we really don't know. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes to find the right answer. So I'm trying to give you the right answer, okay. So um, my previous uh, video, you know, we started with the proper posture, five chair point, and how to take one foot up, balance one leg, to really understand those three muscles, right? If you, it's the whole thing, you were using your body, but you don't know your body, how are you ever going to improve? So I'm putting the right kinesiology and anatomy together, that needs your mind, right? So your mind body always connect together. So that was the last two video, and um, I'll put it in the screen on for you, so you can check if this is your first um, time to see me. Okay, um, here we go. Today is the part three, how to improve your balance. The legs very very important, right? Besides the five chair points or the posture first. Now. Last week, the last video, we talked about the muscle on the leg with the leg standing. What about quadricep? How am I going to strengthen my quadricep? Because you know sometimes it's really hard uh, when you get a certain age or after injury, after you're on the cast or whatever, your muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy usually caused by injury and age. Age we can prevent. Injury is really hard, but accident happens. But how are we going to rehab yourself back? So quadriceps are very important because why? You get sit down, you, you can sit all, all the time. You got to get up. When you're sitting down, getting up, it's all the quadriceps already. Walking up and down the stairs, quadriceps. You're getting out the car, right? Quadriceps. So let's think about how to strengthen your quadriceps. Very, very simple. So now I start with five chair point. I'm always facing diagonal, so you can see kind of both sides. You have, so this is my north. We're not going to change inside, which is good today. So we're going to focus the quadriceps, quadriceps in the front. Okay, so you have rectus from Morse. You have three vastes, vastus medially, intermedially, and the vastus laterally. Okay, the laterally is on the side, kind of great friends, you know, they kind of together with the ITBN. They are separate, but they're, the function is kind of really similar together, okay? They're like, they, they want the superficial ones deep, so it kind of sandwich it. I mean, oh, well, I should say glue, but they are partnered together, okay? So now here we go. I engage my abdominal, watch carefully, okay? I have to bend my knee, so you too. I'm gonna bend my knee, but I'm not leaning forward. I'm gonna bend my knee just enough, you can start feeling quads already especially this the one. You, your pelvis upright, so your body upright. So my fingers still reaching down toward the outside, your ankle, or reaching to the floor. So we want to still want to feel, now I'm rooting really strong. I'm going to emphasis spiral going down. If I emphasis spiral going down, there's another spiral going up. Remember, there's an equal opposite reaction, right? Uh, Newton's third law. Chinese, we have it too. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine, the yin yang philosophy is that there's an up, there's a down. There's a right, there's a left. We're just gonna focus up, down. So if I'm going down, I create a free energy up, okay? Simply there's daytime, there's nighttime makes one day. There's inhale, there's exhale, it's one breath. So from here, nice and tall, total awareness. Now I'm going to slowly transfer weight to my right leg. You don't see me topple over, right? I'm just feel the three points my foot. I slowly roll the left heel off and the left toe off. I look forever far and focus. Inhale and exhale. I don't need to lift the left leg very high. So you will feel that ankle, right? Your foot start computing. So that's three points of your foot evenly on the floor. Getting the quadricep, engage your abdominal, nice breathing, inhale, sorry. Exhale, inhale, exhale. So you feel really strong. Every time you exhale, you go a little more. 
And every time you exhale, you go a little more. So you really feel the work comes in. Now inhale, prepare. Exhale, push down, put the other foot down. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this leg. Inhale, you prepare. So you stand up to give a little break, so recover. Exhale again, hollow tummy, personally blow the out. I'm going to slowly peel the right foot off. I'm just holding hips width, stay. Inhale, normal downward breathing. Exhale, purse lift, or just through your nose. Inhale, very quietly, like I say. If it's too easy for you, you go down a little more on the exhale. Exhale, very tiny, like no one even sees it, but you can feel it. Because every time you practice, it's really about you. Your mind and the body connect. I go, oh, I can really feel my quads more. Inhale and exhale. And slowly push down, come back up. So that's all. <laughs> you practice four or five times, right? Every time you practice, don't just practice once. Once you're really good, you can even practice like this, talk to your friends, or if you have to watch your favorite TV show, and get up off the couch and practice this. Stay focused if you can multitask. Watch and focus your body. It's all about us. Just like you have a board meeting, you listen to everybody, you have to keep thinking, right? You have to put integrate, you have to involve all together. Your body, your mind designed to multitask. Your body's designed to multitask. That's why we have all these muscles, 650 muscles to dance and move and play, right? So here we go. I'm going to do this one more time. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, bend. Actually, I'm going to do this face here. Okay, so now inhale. Back to your point. My head suspends from above. Exhale, I bend my knee. Okay? I, the reason I face you, I see my knee's not there. I want that arch. I'm going to bounce on the right leg. I want my three points on. So when I peel off, it's right here. Don't drop. You're going to fall right away, right? Because you're not, right? The structure is so bad. You can't build a house like that too. So it's all about the awareness of a structure. And right here, inhale, exhale. Hollow tummy, feel the spine taller. So at the beginning, it's really hard. That's good, that's mean you need to do more because you're being challenged. You can't say, I don't like challenge. If you don't like challenge, you won't have a life. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's true, okay? That's why first grade, second grade, third grade, these days, we don't like children get upset. That's the worst thing ever. They're so strong. We're not. We, 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 when we love somebody, and we, we make them weaker. I don't know why. Right? So we want to give them opportunities so because they're going to grow up. When they grow up, they don't want to be like weak. They want to be so strong and face a challenge and solving problem. That's why you, you, you want your kids call you say, Hi, Mommy, I miss you. Mommy, I have another problem. Can you send some money? Mommy, the... No. You teach them independence, right? You love them. It's very different. You can give them skill. You want them to stand up. You want them to have an amazing life, not dependent on you or other people. Special government, right? So inhale, exhale again. Wah. Inhale, exhale. We be resilient because this is one body, one life of mine. It doesn't belong to the doctor. It doesn't belong to, right? So all the kids want to be leave the house, grow up. Yes. They want to be independent, so we're going to give them another skill to become independent. I'm going to give you skill, become healthy, wellness, all this. And you're so happy because you won't get wiped down or scared and stay in a fear. There's a lot of life left. You better enjoy it by learning and respect, gratitude to your body. Okay? So that's it for today. This is the third part of how to improve your balance. Practice for a week, <clears throat> maybe two weeks. The video always going to be there. I hope you can link in through from part one, part two, part three. Okay, going through. And uh, yeah, all this is going to start taking you to how to walk. 
and hike. Okay? Because this is just the beginning. Have a really good foundation. Thank you so much. Take good care.